Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how to use sensing blocks and broadcast messages between sprites. In one of our earlier programs, we saw that to synchronize between two sprites, we used wait command. However, in most games or stories, we have some event like a bullet hitting the rocket which makes the rocket explode or a sprite touching other sprite which makes it jump or makes a sound. Let's say we want to write a game where we have a sprite moving randomly on the screen and a static dinosaur below. If you manage to click or kill the moving sprite, then the dinosaur should say yay and dance. We will first add both the sprites and then write the code for the first sprite to move randomly on the screen. For this we will pull the when green flag clicked event block and use the glide to random position command in a forever loop. If you want the game to be difficult, you can reduce the seconds in glide to make your sprite move faster. Now how will you know when a mouse click has happened? For this you will first use the if command from the control block. Now the if command executes command inside it only if some condition is true. We want the condition to be mouse click. You will find the condition in sensing commands. Here you will see the command touching mouse pointer. You will also notice that it has a drop down and you can also use the same command in case your game was touching edges or touching other sprites. There are more commands available of touching colors which can be used in maze kind of game. For the moment we will lock the touching mouse pointer inside the if block. Next we want to put what we want to do once the if condition is true. We want the second sprite to say yay and dance. For this we will use broadcast message. In events you will see broadcast message command. Here there is a default message which you can use or you can create a new message. We will create a new message dance. So we have written the script up to the point that if the sprite is clicked, it sends out a message dance. Now how does the second sprite receive the message and do what is it supposed to do? For this we will now select the second sprite and write its script. Now we know the event to trigger its script is the message dance. In event, you will see the command when I receive message. We will use this as our event to start the script. Now below it we will add say command from looks to say yay. Now we will use change costume command however needs to be in loop for it to show dance animation. So from control block we will pick forever and also add wait in it to make it animate a bit slowly. Now let's try to catch the first sprite with the mouse. Once you get a hit you will see the dinosaur say yay and then dance. In next video we will learn how to clone and use variables to maintain scores. Thank you.